Hey everyone, this is Master King JC here again, a new One Piece chapter. No, what? Ah, no, it's, it's not One Piece, it's Naruto, Naruto. Oh yeah, that's right, One Piece won't be back until like four weeks, I forgot. Oh well, it's manga time. Naruto chapter 508. Um, title is A Death Befitting a Shinobi. And this one we pick up from where he left off back when uh, Kisami broke out broke out a fucking um, fucking wing capture thing. I don't know what the way to say this, but I forgot. Not that I mean pretzel, so. Yeah. There's some pretzel too. Anyway. It's just after Kasami bit his tongue. He breaks out of the wooden barricade prison thing, whatever. And he and guy tries to stop him. They're like, they're like, don't let him get away. Guy tries to stop him, and Kasami pulls out fucking water prison jutsu. Uh, guy can't hit him, and then uh, Kasami does a summoning technique. Where he summons like a whole bunch of sharks that come out of nowhere. Wait. I don't know where. And then we get a, a little quick flashback to when uh, Kisami and Tachi first met. And I don't know where the fuck this is, but this is where they first met. And Kisami is like, you know, he's like talking all talking all about Tachi. Like, oh, it must be a heavy burden that, you know, killed all your brethren and stuff like that. And, you know, you, you were famous for killing off your entire clansmen and shit like that. And Tachi's like, shut the fuck up. Fucker. Like, what about you, motherfucker? You're a fucking wandering rogue from the fucking water village shit. No one gives a. What about you? And then Kisami, you know, gets a little pissed off. And then he's, then he tells him a little, uh, a little trivia lesson, you know, about sharks and shit. How when uh, how sharks are like hatch, uh, uh, sharks are like you know, come out in eggs. And they're but they're hatched in the womb and stuff. But uh, the number of sharks that are born are less than the eggs because when the sharks, because when the first sharks that are born, they eat off the other eggs, you know. So it's like, oh, shark cannibalism. Ugh. Yes, thank you. I can learn that shit on Discovery Channel now. So Kisame, aka fucking walking Discovery Channel. Talks about, you know, cannibalism, you know, having to eat your own brethren to survive. That's what sharks do. And we get back to, uh, Itachi's, you know, he says, uh, you know, you better watch out for me. And, you know, now there's a little witty banter back and forth and shit. You know, they say, you know, it's better that we don't fight each other. So you better work together as a team. You know. So then uh I talked to you says something about um says something about death. I'm trying to remember what it is. Yeah. Right. Uh he says something along the lines as um oh yeah. We don't know what kind of people we truly are until the moment before our deaths. As death comes to embrace you, you will realize what you are. Because that's what death is. I'm like, that's some pretty deep shit. Because it came from Itachi, so it's pretty deep. And then, we flash back to where we left off with Kasami in his water prison technique and his shark summoning. You see, you think, you think, holy shit, Kasami can try to escape now. And he's got the fucking scroll of all the info in it on the island, so he can fucking escape now and give it to um, give it to Madar. But then, but then he's like, oh, he's like Itachi-san. It seems that in the end, something. It seems that in the end, it it's not so terrible after all. I think he's referring to you know when when he dies. It's not so terrible after all. 
and then all and then all of a sudden a twist the sharks start eating Kisame. That's right. That shit he said earlier about the whole cannibalism with the sharks. Yeah, I, it, it played in right here. The sharks, they fucking eat them. They rip them to shreds. So this is fucking Jaws moment. I was reading this. I was like, oh shit. Damn. I, I, I actually hear the Jaws theme song while I was reading this. I was like, da-dum. 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 So yeah, he saw me. He's he's gone, guys. He sac. He uh, I guess you know he went out. He knew he couldn't escape them, so he just he's he technically killed himself. He's dead. This is that man. He saw me. He's he's a badass character. I liked him, man. And see him die like that, man. That was a gruesome death. I mean, being ripped to shreds by sharks. That's a that's one hell of a way to go out right there, man. I mean, fucking Nadara fucking blew himself off in a fucking nuke, but fucking Kisame got ripped to shreds by sharks, so yeah. That's one hell of a way to go out. And pretty ironic, too, I guess so. And, you know, Naruto comments on, you know, even within the Kotsky, you know, they still... Try to protect their comrades, you know. So he didn't. He didn't. Um. Okay. Something. Oh, oh yeah, cause he didn't want. Um. The Sami didn't want them to get any info out of his head, so he sacrificed himself. Cause he's still trying to protect uh, his comrades. Which is pretty deep. So I got more respect for Kisami then. And then Guy. Guy comes up. He says, you know, Kasami was a worthy opponent. And that he will remember his name for the rest of his life. I was like, oh shit, guy. Oh man, that just got me right here. I'm like, guy, you are so awesome, guy. You're so awesome, man. This is your enemy right here, and you are respecting him. That's what I like about guy. Guy just went up like fucking ten notches. On my Naruto ranks right there. Guy just went up. He just shut up after he said that. So it is gonna be a new popularity poll. You know, guy's gonna fucking be in like the top, the top five or top ten or something. So yeah. So guy gets the scroll that uh, Kasami tried to steal, and then when he opens it up, boom, motherfucker, fucking water prism technique, and. A whole bunch of sharks come out, and they're all stuck in the water prism. And one of the sharks gets the fucking scrolls, and he escapes, so... Psst, from beyond the fucking dead, Kisame is still fucking with you. Ah! Uh, yeah. And got, and they're all stuck in there, and they're being attacked by sharks, like, Get the fucking scroll! And, and could be like, Motherfucker! <laughs> oh, shit, I have fun. Like, could be like, Motherfucker! And he... And the shark gets away, and then we cut to another scene on some country somewhere. I don't know where the fuck it is. It's raining, and Madara is facing off Conan, but he refers to her as uh, Nagato. So I don't know what the fuck is up with that. So, so uh, Nagato. I mean, not Nagato. Fuck, Dar. Is trying to um, get the Renegon, and he's asking uh, fucking fucking Conan where the fuck did she hit it? She's not and she's not stalking, so he's gonna have to hit a bitch. Like bitch, where the fucking Renegon, bitch. So, yep. And fuck, but I don't know if it's really Conan or Gato, so I guess we'll figure it out next chapter. So yeah, another battle's about to start. Madara versus Conan or Nagato, so just tell me. Sorry, man. This guy, this is a, that's a true motherfucker right there. Mother, a true motherfucker till the fucking end right there. He saw me. We will miss you. I think I swing my eye. Shit. Damn breath. What are you looking at? What the fuck are you looking at?